Hello, this is Dr. Anthony Festmeyer, and in this video, we're going to check out E-form bar chords. Now, there are two parts to that name, E-form bar chord. First of all, these are bar chords, and so that means that we're using a single finger to play two or more strings. In the case of these chords, we're going to use our first finger to play all six strings on the guitar. So, this might be your first step in getting acquainted with these chords, is to work on being able to play all six strings with one finger. So here I'm going to finger the first fret of the guitar, and I'm going to play through each of those notes to see if I can get them to sound nice and clear. I could bring my first finger to any fret of the guitar and play through all six strings, and that will be the bar portion of these chords. Now, by the way, often when people are first starting to get into this idea of playing a bar chord, they'll play through these notes and some of the strings will be muted. So watch out for that. In this case, it has to do with how hard you're pushing down your hand. And so there's a fine line between pushing too hard and not pushing hard enough because you don't want to push so hard that you create a lot of tension in your hand and ultimately create some pain in your hand. Um, but you want to push hard enough to get the notes of sound. You will also take a little bit of time to get some strength in your hand because these definitely take a little bit of strength and so you'll need to build the muscles. So again, that's the first part. So practice that bar. The next part is E form. So for this, we're talking about the open E chord. So if I go here and I play my common open E chord, I have my first finger on the first fret of the G string, I have my second finger on the second fret of the A string, and I have my third finger on the second fret of the D string to create this open E chord. Now I'm going to actually move that chord up and then place a bar in order to make these different E-form bar chords. But in order to be able to do that, I need to switch which fingers I'm using. So currently I'm using fingers one, two, and three. Now I'm going to play the same notes, but I'm going to use fingers two, three, and four. In order to do that, I'm going to put my second finger on the first fret of the G string. I'm going to put my third finger on the second fret of the A string and my pinky on the second fret of the D string to get my E chord. It's exactly the same chord that I was playing here. I'm just moving my fingers and playing the next uh, finger in a row. Now, in order to get these E form bar chords, I'm going to take these three fingers, I'm going to move them up each by one fret. So be careful as you do this to make sure that you're consistent. My second finger ends up in the second fret. My third and fourth fingers end up in the third fret. I'm just sliding them up one. Now that gives me an open fret down here to add my first finger in that bar, and I end up with this chord. Now this is an F major chord. These chords are named based off of the root of the chord. The root is in the case of these chords, the lowest note of the chord. So I'm going to find the root on the low E string. If it's an E chord, E is the root. F chord, F is the root, etc. So to be able to name these chords that we're going to find by essentially just moving this shape up one fret at a time, the names of these chords will come from the low E string, the notes on the low E string. So if I follow up the chromatic scale on the low E string, open is E, first fret is F, second fret is F sharp or G flat, third fret is G, fourth fret is G sharp or A flat, fifth fret is A, etc. So following up the string, I'm going to find the roots. So going back here, first fret, my lowest note is here at the first fret, so this is an F chord. If I move this entire shape up one more, my first finger is now on F sharp or G flat. So this is an F sharp or G flat chord. Move it up one more, now I have G on the third fret with my first finger, so this is a G chord. Up one more, G sharp or A flat. One more A, one more A sharp or B flat. 
one more B, then C, then C sharp or D flat, then D, D sharp or E flat, and then one more will take me to E here at the 12th fret, and I'm basically starting all over again. Now these chords can also be played in minor versions. So here I'm playing the E major chord, then I switch over to these fingers. The E minor chord would simply be two fingers. So I'm going to use, for these chords, I'm going to use my third finger on the second fret of the A string and my pinky on the second fret of the D string. Or I can simply play the E major chord and pick up finger two. Now it's an E minor chord. So I could do exactly the same thing, move those two notes up one fret, so they end up in the third fret, and then I'm going to bar at the first fret to create an F minor chord. Again, the root is right here with my first finger. I can also start with the F major chord and then pick up my middle finger, making it an F minor chord. Same thing if I just move that chord shape up one fret at a time. Now I have F sharp or G flat, G, G minor, A flat or G sharp minor, A minor, etc.